Hampshire local election headquarters. Less than one week now until Election Day, and we're bringing you another series in our Meet the Candidate reports here tonight with Madison Heaver. Madison, which race are you profiling this evening? David, tonight I talk with the major party candidates running to be Missouri's next lieutenant governor. Right now, the position is held by Republican incumbent Mike Kehoe. Mike Kehoe, and I'm running for Missouri lieutenant governor. Alicia Kennedy, I'm Democratic nominee for lieutenant governor. When asked what issue is most important to him, Kehoe says COVID-19. I think everybody's struggling with uh, where we are with the COVID, uh, kind of the COVID uh, effect it has on our citizens plus our COVID economy. All of the issues right now are important, um, particularly dealing with the, this global health pandemic, uh, COVID-19. When asked what Missouri could improve on, Kennedy says it's response to COVID-19. I believe right now the, the most important thing we can do is to adopt a concept comprehensive um, strategy on how to mitigate COVID spread, which is a mask mandate. That's number one. In addition to that, we have to look at the economic impact and how are we making sure folks are able to stabilize their incomes, and their lifestyles. Kids getting back in school uh, is something that we're going to have to definitely figure out, both at all levels of education, both K through 12 and in, in uh, collegiate, you know, four-year schools. We got to get these kids back in a learning environment. We can't let them continue to fall behind. Uh, and figure out a way to go forward with that. And when asked how they would reassure voters they'll fight for what they want, both said look to their background. If you uh, have that kind of background and uh, became a small business person and you go into politics, you kind of understand where it is. So I'm not a career politician. My professional uh, record, uh, which is public, has been me doing just that, advocating on behalf of residents and taxpayers, not corporate interests. 